Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis, if this is your first time here, and I wanna share with you my Sol de Janeiro collection today. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Sol de Janeiro is one of my favorite body care companies, and I love their fragrances so much. They have had a lot of success in the last few years, and every time something comes out from them, I have to give it a try. So I don't have an overwhelming collection, but I wanted to share what I do have and any thoughts that I have about the product, kind of my favorites from the brand. Everything will be listed in the description box down below so you guys can check out other people's reviews and not just mine if you are interested in purchasing any of these products. I do a lot of fragrance-based content on this channel, so if you like this video, please consider sticking around. Um, do a lot of home fragrance, fragrance, beauty, and some lifestyle vlog type content, so I would love to have you here. I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know where to start, but I think the appropriate place to start with a Sol de Janeiro collection is what started it all, and that is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream and Brazilian Crush Fine Fragrance Mist. You guys, I have gone through so many of these. I'm sure you are familiar with these products. If you are familiar with Sol de Janeiro at all, the Boom Boom Cream was all the rave back in the day. I don't know why that's not, not going to focus. There we go. It was all in the rave back in the day, and I have gone through so many containers of this. This size, the mini size, the biggie size, they had the biggie for a while. I've gone through a few of those. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful coconut pistachio fragrance. I wonder if this one has the scent notes on it. Not that I see, but I think a lot of us are familiar with the Boom Boom Cream. There's been a lot of dupes that have come out over the years because this scent is so nice. What I love in particular about the cream, other than just the scent, is the way it looks on your skin. It gives you a kind of almost shimmery, kind of ethereal look to your skin and it's just beautiful in particular in the summertime when the sun is hitting your skin so love that and then of course I have the fine fragrance mist to go with it the Brazilian crush fine fragrance mist love these paired together obviously layering I think does the best for any type of product if you can layer a lotion and a perfume that's how you're going to get the best scent on your skin that's how it's going to be the most long lasting so I love layering those products together and also using this in my hair speaking of hair and some other products that I have in that particular scent I do have the nourishing hair oil if I could get that to focus there we go so this comes in that same Brazilian crush Sarosa 62 scent so beautiful. So another product that you can layer. What I love about this is mainly using it on my dry hair in an effort to tame flyaways. Also, I love using this in my wet hair when I'm going to blow dry my hair because I think something about the heat from the blow dryer kind of activates the scent of the oil. And so your hair is left not only really silky and shiny, but has that beautiful fragrance to it as well. So really love the hair oil. And then lastly, in that particular fragrance, I have the Boom Boom Body Oil. So this is not a product that I use all the time. Um, I definitely prefer just the consistency of the lotion, but I use the body oil when I am like wanting to be super moisturized or maybe it's the evening and I'm staying in, I'm gonna put my pajamas on and just wanna be cozy up, I will put the lotion on, layer the body oil on top of it. Perfume, you guys, 
especially if you do that, the fragrance will last all day long. Body oil would also be really nice if you're going out in the summertime. Be careful of burning, but if you want to give your skin just a really glowy look, the body oil is so, so nice as well. So that's everything in the kind of Brazilian crush scent family, but I do have some other scents from their line. I'm going to do the couple kind of standalone scents that I have. First up, I have the Sharosa 48. So I have a whole dedicated video to this on my channel. I will link it above. This was a limited time scent um, in skinny dipping that they repackaged to their permanent line. This is a very sweet, fruity summertime scent. That's really when I like to use this fragrance is in the summertime. Very fruity, very feminine, very girly beautiful fragrance. It honestly could be layered with any of these lotions as well, but I do not have the pairing lotion for that. Similar, they repackaged the Skinny Dipping. They also repackaged After Hours. After Hours was a limited time release that they brought back to their permanent line in the form of Sharosa 76. This one's definitely a deeper fragrance, more of a nighttime fragrance. It has, I think, black currant and maybe jasmine in there, more of a floral, but it has some of those deeper notes, deeper qualities to it. This little guy, look how cute <laughs> this size is. This was a freebie on Sol de Janeiro's site, I think with like a $30 purchase. So I was able to place an order for both of these for just the price of this guy, the Sharosa 48. I do have a video on my channel as well, reviewing Sharosa 76 individually. So again, I will link that above if you're interested in hearing more details about it. But this is a very unique scent to their line. It is very, very beautiful. Make sure you're checking out Sol de Janeiro occasionally for deals like this because this was a great way to try the scent without getting fully invested into it. Next, I have the Sharosa 71 fragrance. This is one that I've had for quite a while. If I can get it there, I don't know. There we go. Um, and I don't use it a ton, but this has notes of caramelized vanilla and macadamia. This is definitely a heavier bakery type fragrance. It is really stunning. A little bit goes a long way. I'm glad I only got the smaller size in this particular fragrance because a spray or two and you are good. So funny story about this one. I brought this with me on a trip one time and I was at the airport and we were getting on the plane. We were in the little runway, you know, kind of waiting to board the plane. And somebody around me said, somebody smells like cookies. I smell cookies and it was me, it was this perfume. So if you wanna smell like cookies or a baked good of some sort, this is one I definitely would recommend, number 71. And then I've got the Reedy, Rio Radiance. I don't know if that one will focus because it is a light, really light font, but this is Solar Tuberose and Late Tea de Coco. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but essentially this one to me is very much sunscreen-esque. Smells very much like suntan lotion or like Bobbi Brown Beach, that type of fragrance. So if you love those really traditional, warm, summertime, kind of sunscreen leaning scents, this is a perfect one, but I only use it because of that reason in the heat of the summer, those really hot summer, you know, July and August days. So that's it for kind of one-offs. And then I do have a couple more sets of fragrances. So I've got the little mini set in the Sharosa 59. And then the, you know, mini Delicia Drench body cream to go with it. Now I... I waited a long time to get this particular product because of the, the spider scare. <laughs> if you guys have heard about that, 
there was, I think, a review. I don't know the full story, but I think there was a review that somebody left that said that this scent attracted spiders, uh, wolf spiders <laughs> to them. And I'm positive it is not a true, a true, you know, a fact, but it did deter me from getting this product for a little bit because I was nervous. I don't like spiders, <laughs> but I smelled it in Sephora one day and I said, oh man, I need, I need to get it. This body butter in particular, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little bit of a different consistency than the other ones. This one is a little more thick, a little more whipped in consistency than say like the Boom Boom Cream. This one's a little bit thinner and I do think I prefer this texture better. It's more substantial. Um, you know, I could dump this over and nothing would fall out, which this, I think <laughs> the product would come out and it is just such a beautiful scent. Does this bottle have notes? Yep. It says vanilla orchid, sugared violet and sheer sandalwood. I really love violet. It is my favorite floral. There's something that's so sweet about violets and kind of has like a sugary component to it. This is an absolutely lovely scent. Really love it. I mean, all year round, but in particular the springtime, it is stunning. Get it. I have yet to seen a spider when I wear it. So I think that, I think people are fooling. I think they're fibbing. Okay. Then I've got the large body spray in the Charosa 40 and the Bomb Dia bright cream to go with it. So the body cream and the mist. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. To me, this is like my winter version of Boom Boom. Like I could wear this in the winter and do this one in the summer and we would be set for the entire year. This is just such a beautiful, warm, cozy, amber fragrance. Love this one so very much. If you like those kind of warmer, less floral fragrances, if you like amber and sandalwood, cashmere, I would pick this one up. And last, but certainly not least, I have to say this one that I'm going to share last is probably my favorite of the bunch and that is the Brazilian Crush 68. So Charosa 68 and then the Bia Floor. I'm sure I'm butchering that. I love this scent so very much. I've gone through multiple bottles of it. I think this is my third or fourth bottle. This is just such a beautiful, stunning fragrance. I'm going to put some on while I'm doing this video because I don't have anything on yet. It is just so good. And this is a product for me that not only do I think it smells so good, but I know that it works well with my body chemistry because I've had so many people come up and ask me, what are you wearing? What does that smell? Um, so something about this does particularly well with my body chemistry. So this is Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. It is just the perfect combination of fruity and floral. It's not too floral and it's not too overly sweet. It is so stunning. I feel like I need to just douse myself in it. If you want to be the best smelling person in the room, honestly, try any of these products. Any of them would be a winner. But if you have yet to try the Brazilian Crush 68 and you like fruity floral type fragrances, I would highly recommend. But that is it. Those are all of the products that I have from Sol de Janeiro. So quick video, but I wanted just to sit down and share with you guys all of those goodies that I have. One of my favorite brands of all time. 
I would love to know what your favorite Soul de Janeiro product is, or is there a product that I didn't share that you would highly recommend? I've tried a variety of the body washes and things in the past, but I'm always looking for new recommendations. With that, I really hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!